We're doing a show, apparently. Yeah, that's, that's, that's what you're I doing a show. <laughs> so apparently we're here to celebrate our 200th episode, yes. even though there are 202 already online. Yes, we couldn't work it out to be exactly 200. Actually, I was going to say, in true Big Kev's Geek Stuff fashion, we promise stuff and never actually come through when we say. Right. So we, fir we first promised a live show, I'm going to say about two years ago, when 100? we were still producing it at Hoboken. Was it 100? We were going to do a show in front of a live studio audience. Oh, yeah, mm -hmm. we probably should say we have a live, live studio, studio audience. audience here tonight. <laughs> yes. Until now, no one believed uh, anybody actually listened to us. So thank you all for coming Thank out. all six of you for coming. <laughs> and taking off your shoes and clapping with your feet. <laughs> I see some dignitaries in the audience. We yeah, should, I, uh, I do. I, I point see. Out. They don't need to be on camera, though, because they no. don't like that. Former producer, Best Buy Billy, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Another former producer, Micah Prime, in the audience. Give him a hand. Uh, still kind of perverted, Pervert Ken over here in the front row in the audience tonight. Frequent contributor to the show, hiding in the back, star man in the back corner over there tonight. There he is. And let me see. Mm, nobody else. Oh. Oh, let's oh, save whoop. him. Let's save oh, him. All right. Gets his own segment. So, in theory, we're doing an actual show? Right, so there should be some news. Uh, okay, fine, we can okay, do what news. do you got? How about uh, Amber Heard and Adrian Brody uh, as the two rumored leads uh, for Mr. Fantastic and Sue Storm in the Fantastic Four reboot? Who, who is the woman? Amber Heard. Who's that? Yes. I don't actually know. I don't oh. know if I know anything so she's doing. So no doing. research for the big anniversary no, show? No, come on, research? I know Adrian Brody. To whip that out that camera. laptop. And Hold on. Adrian Brody, of course, just starred in, in uh, Rodriguez's Predators. Right. So he's coming off a, a pretty decent film from what I but heard. But as Mr. Fantastic? As a replacement for Adrian well, Brufford? Well, maybe, maybe through special effects they could stretch that nose into a normal shape. <laughs> and somehow they could so, work So the something. long shape is the stretched the, yeah, effect? Yeah, this, this, <laughs> this sort of thing. Right. That, yeah, that's got to go. And is this back under the Marvel banner yes. now, or is this still with Fox? No, I think this is back under the so Marvel banner. So this is banner. moving into the mm -hmm. world that the Avengers eventually right. will reside in. Yes. That's, that's the popular rumor, anyway. I don't know if that's been confirmed, but I think that's the way it's going. So eventually we'll see those characters interact with the Avengers, maybe? I hope not, <laughs> but uh, it's possible. Yeah, right. I, I'm not looking forward, as, as we've discussed, uh, for those of you that listen to the show, I'm not... I'm not really key on the Avengers movie, especially because we haven't really seen how Thor is going to turn out yet. And all the pre-talk about Captain America is garbage. So uh, hopefully it'll all work out nice in the end, not holding my breath. So. Uh, all right. Yes. Well, we might as well continue with. Uh, continue with. Contittle. Cont I had a beer. I'm halfway. Or yeah. More than so halfway. You're hiding through. it. You put it out in the open, sir. You don't have a problem. <laughs> you don't have a problem unless you start hiding this shit. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, <laughs> X-Men First Class. Ah, yes. No one in the first class is going to be in the film. Of course. Uh, we, <laughs> we had heard uh, that Cyclops and Jean Grey were going to be in it, uh -huh. and then a plethora of other characters. Yes. And now they're officially out of the film. Of course. Um, Storm? No. Of course. Why, why would so, they do that? So Havoc is going to be in there. What? what? <laughs> Everyone in the audience, what? <laughs> yes. Havoc apparently is going to be in there. OK. Emma Frost is going to be Havoc, in there. Havoc, of course, would be Cyclops' younger, more badass brother. Right. <gasps> mm -hmm. And then uh, I don't remember some of the other characters we talked about. I mean, uh, Professor X is in there. Uh, Magneto is in there. Professor X being played by Bilbo Baggins? Uh, James McAvoy? Yes. Yes. Um, and, and actually, be. this movie has killed the, uh, the Magneto movie. Everyone applaud, <laughs> death of the Magneto movie. Great, so they can only ruin so many characters at a time. That's Correct. terrific. That's I'm, right. I'm happy about that. Oh, good, all right. Well, so we have X-Men First Class to not look forward to. Right. Terrific. And apparently, this is gonna free Ian McKellen up because apparently in the next week or two, Peter Jackson has said that again. I will be making a special, oh wait, I will be making a special <laughs> announcement about Lord of the Rings or The Hobbit or whatever I'm doing this week. Right. <laughs> when did you become Charlie from Lost? <laughs> really? <laughs> when you gave me that Mary with the cocaine in it. Oh, 
Excuse me? Oh, right. Um, That's a lost reference. Yes, I, I even I, watched I, the show, and, and, and you didn't know what that reference was? Yeah. <laughs> Good point. Let me get a little more. So apparently, Peter Jackson has said uh, that he's moving forward with it again, although he has not confirmed that he is directing it still. I say yes. Um, Anyone in the audience? Yes, Peter man. Jackson directing The Hobbit? Yeah, I think so. Of course, what this means is that maybe Ian McKellen won't actually leave. For those of you who don't know, he said, I guess it was about me a month and a half ago, that he would leave if the project didn't get on the fast track, because he has other things that he wants to work on, right. and he doesn't want to sit around waiting yes. for MGM to get their head clean out of the, the shitty sheets out of the mm -hmm. bed right. and get back on track. So, Well, so apparently that, that pressure move worked, because you don't want to make a... I guess you don't want to make a Hobbit film without a Gandalf. And you Probably don't not. To re unless Michael Gambon is available. He's the one that's still alive? He takes, yeah, he takes over for dead guys with white beards. <laughs> right. So, right, exactly. And he's not working anymore, so. Oh, yeah, those, those films done. are done, right? Yeah, so there the you can, go. In the can, from what I understand. All right, your favorite actor, Sam Worthington. Oh, <laughs> yes. He's my favorite something going to be doing a little project, Dracula Year Zero. I really only wanted to bring this up because I wanted you to get angry at Sam Worthington. I don't really care about Dracula I'll, I'll films. I'll flip this table. <laughs> Not with no, those I, on it, you look, will. No, I won't. Uh, but uh, look, I don't hate Sam Worthington. I just don't think he's a good actor. And to stick him in, I, I don't know how y'all feel about him, but whenever, whenever you get a major motion picture or one that's part of a, a line of motion pictures, for example, uh, like the remake of The Clash of the Titans was a major motion picture, according to the studio that made it. And uh, <laughs> the, the Terminator movie was also a great film, according to the people who made it. And when you get those two kind of films, it's different that he showed up in Avatar because Cameron's nuts. So like anybody could have showed up in that movie and, and been successful because, you know, it, it could have been anybody. But when you stick somebody like out of the blue in all of these lead roles. He didn't, it's not like he played, you know, guy holding the pole number three off on the side of the screen in some of your favorite movies and he gradually worked his way up. He showed up one day and was like, I'd like to be the star of everything, please. And they <laughs> put him right in it. Hello, I'd like to star in every major franchise coming out, including that best picture of all time thing. So, uh, yeah, I, I have, no, he's, I'm just done with him. All right, moving right into something else I know that you love so near and dear to your heart. Yes. Um, Ghost Rider. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy, Nicolas Cage. Which it, I have to say, I'm gonna stop, I'm gonna stop my, uh, normally here I think I, I know would, what you're gonna I say. I would leap so. an assault onto Nicolas Cage. I won't do that here because uh, I thought he was, dare I say, brilliant in Kick-Ass. I don't know, did any of you see Kick-Ass? Yeah. <laughs> I have never seen anybody do a better Adam West impersonation in my <laughs> life. He was, I thought he was absolutely fantastic. Fantastic in that movie. And uh, so I'm not going to jump on him until he, say, does another Sorcerer's Apprentice movie. So you're not going to jump on him for doing The Spirit of Vengeance, which begins filming this fall? No, I'm going to. In gonna, Romania, apparently? Uh, well, of course. Uh, that's where all spooky things happen. <laughs> Uh, I'm gonna give I'm gonna give him a buy. Okay. Until such time as uh, you know we start seeing something that really sucks. Since we won't see him in Kickass Two, likely. <laughs> likely not. No, there will be a Kickass Two. Yeah. Balls uh, to the wall. Balls to the wall. Yeah. The comic right. book starts coming out in December, I think. I think it's. And then, then production on the film mm -hmm. is uh, spring, I think. Yes. Something along I those think lines. So, yeah. I think it's pretty much written and ready to go. So. And I hear that. Um, McLovin is very excited about donning the red, uh, red mist. The red uh, mist again? Gear, well, I, so. think, uh, I think this movie is going to focus more on Hit Girl and the red mist um, as the primary storyline, which I think we talked about a couple weeks back, actually. We talked about when the plot leak mm -hmm. uh, happened, so I'm sure he is very excited. To we should get John Jr. back on the show to, uh, to talk about that. Maybe, uh, maybe after New York. Maybe at New York. Maybe at New York. This would be a good time, of course, to tell you to come and check us out at New York Comic Con coming this October. October 7th. No, 8th, 9th, and 10th. Is it? Yes. 8th, 9th, and 10th uh, at the <laughs> Jacob Javits Center in New York. And uh, we'll have a booth there. We have 
tons of fabulous uh, people coming by to we do. sign their wares and do That's some right. stuff. Um, those those is it Timony brothers again, I guess. <laughs> They're coming again. Yes, they will be there. Yeah. Uh, Couldn't Jamie. tell one of them are in the audience. <laughs> Uh, Jamie from uh, In His Likeness, uh -huh. you guys read that online strip, he's going to be there uh, signing with us. Uh, for uh, those of you who are toy collectors like myself, we have a couple of uh, toy artists coming and hanging Vinyl out with guys. us as well. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, Sket cool. One is going to be there, uh, Drill One is going to be there, and Eric from Argonaut Resins is going to be there in the studio with the audience tonight as well. Oh, so. I did not even see that he was here tonight, <laughs> <laughs> else I might have mentioned him. Hello, Eric. <laughs> You're so natural. I love it. I know. Um, like we I've do have a couple before. more. We do have a couple more guests. We hope to announce. In I'm going to announce them weeks. right now. Tentatively scheduled at our booth is uh, what's his name? Pete Abrams. Pete Abrams from, from Sluggy, Sluggy Freelance. Freelance uh, for those of course, you guys that read that web which comic, which is a great underground strip. If you've never read it, online strip. It's been going on for like what eight, ten years, something, something like, like that. that. Yeah. Terrific. And uh, we also have a tentative, tentative, very tentative. Possibility that the four horsemen uh, will be signing at our table at some point during the show. Very tentative at this point, but uh, Cornboy has told me that he would like to do it. We're just going to see if we can work it all out. So, plenty of people to come by. You can just come by and see us. We'll have fabulous prizes. We may have t-shirts. We may have new t-shirts. Uh, we may have uh, we may tons have, of things. We may yeah. have uh, an exclusive art print, too. Oh, yeah? Just for us. I hear... I hear uh, that the resin guy is actually doing a Big Kev's Geek Stuff exclusive piece at New York Comic Con. I, 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 don't, I don't think that's happening. Is that? Is that? <laughs> I don't think you should. I don't think you should put him on the spot. Sure. Like that. Why would you do an exclusive for <laughs> us? <laughs> Whole vinyl and 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 resin world exploding and guys coming out. Can they do a Big Kev's Geek Stuff exclusive? No. Who would buy it? Everyone. You see the way <laughs> these people go for these things? They yeah. sell out in like three seconds. They buy stuff they like. Maybe. They don't like us. If you, These right. people are here because we if coerce you, them with food, punch, and pie. If we have any, <laughs> it, we're saving the pie. Oh, I'm so, my bad. We still have the pie. We still, still have plenty pie of there. punch. There is punch. The punch is delicious. And not spiked. I'm sorry. Yes, not spiked. <laughs> no. There's a latecomer coming in. Destroying That's a flow. famous latecomer. Oh, thank God. I was worried he wasn't going to show well, up. Well, now that we've pointed out that he's coming, for those of you who are familiar with some of our live shows and a bunch of our studio Vs, that right there, that gentleman, is the man behind Big Rat. Big Rat so, in the uh, house, ladies <laughs> and gentlemen. And I see you've brought a date. <laughs> And uh, well, anyway, let's, uh, let's finish up with the news here. What else do we got going on? Iron Fist. Because Ghost Rider wasn't <laughs> bad enough. Is there well, any non-Marvel news this week? One thing. I'm saving it for the end. All right, Iron Fist. So uh, we talked about Marvel is going to be doing the smaller budget uh, films. Right. Under the Marvel banner. Ant-Man. Ant-Man. Uh, Doctor Strange mm -hmm. is in there. Iron Fist is one we heard about. Okay. Black Panther is one that we heard about. Iron Fist looks like um, it's moving forward with a new screenwriter now. Oh, boy. And while I don't think that it's going to be the first one, I think that Doctor Strange is still... Uh, in the production run to be first. Okay. Iron Fist might be moving into the number two spot. Ray Park? No talk. Now, Ray Park obviously was the guy tied to Iron Fist. For six years. Was, yeah. it, was it that long like eight ago? Eight years. Well, let's see. When did episode one come out? Four and a half years ago. Oh, oh, of oh, th oh, that? Oh, uh, 97? Was it 97? Yes. And this is what now? 2010. So that's how many years? 13 years? Yes. 12 years. 